hello everyone. Hello everyone. And if we don't start this now, we're just never going to start because we'll just keep chatting for six hours and yeah. making each other laugh. So we're just going to start. We're Getting just going to in jump into it. Mood. It's, we it's are. devolving. Is that a word? Isn't it evolving? No, but it's like devolving. What does that mean? I don't know. But We're getting happening. a little silly because Rhonda thinks the word honk <laughs> is funny. And this is what's happening. I can't happening. not laugh when I hear that word. Honk. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, with a honk. Okay, well, welcome. This is the Transplanted Country Girl podcast. Hi. 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 And let's see, I always tell them what the weather is because I love when I watch a podcast and I know where they are and what yeah. the weather is. So we are in upstate New York, yeah. right next to Lake Ontario. The weather is 78, but it's really like, mm, it it's is like a little, sticky and gross today. Yep. We have to talk about your tan. Hmm. I know. Thank you. I know. Because it's not from around here. No, it's not. So you know how I always tell you how my mother-in-law makes me do things, which I say that like it's negative, but I don't think I it's love really your negative. I love my mother-in-law. She's too. the sweetest. Yes, she puts me over the edge most of the time, which I tell her, and then we yeah. laugh about it. But it's really because she's a doer. She's like, yeah. let's go here. Let's do this. Let's." And I'm one of those people, and I, I created another human that's just like me. Yeah. Everything with me is a no before it's a yes. Oh, do you really? notice that? I didn't notice that. I'm um, still crying about honks. <laughs> Everything is a no before it's a yes. So I'm always like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. And then I have to think about like, it. I don't okay. know. It's very weird. She has to make me do things. I am more of an... I'm not, what do they call that? Like an ex, introverted extrovert? Yeah. Or one or the other? Well, I actually think that describes you really well. Perfectly. Because I'm very outgoing and I'll talk to anybody mm -hmm. and I'll, whatever, but I don't want to leave the house and I don't want to do anything. Right. I don't know. I'm kind of weird. So she called me last week and gave me about five seconds notice and said, Yeah, you um, shocked me. I'm like, Wait, what? Well, I knew I had to prepare. I you didn't a okay bit. this. We'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. Okay. She called and said, um, I want to throw, she knows just how to say it too. I want to throw something out there, and I just want you to think about it. I'm like, oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. She said um, the two, some other people in the family want to go to Ocean City in a few days. and I feel know, like everybody is going there in the last five years. Has it always been a thing and I just didn't know about it? I don't know. I've never had any desire to go. So I was like, okay. Yeah. So she said Ocean City, and I'm like, oh. And she said um, the boys... The boys will have a good time. They've yeah. been cooped up for months. Let's just go. And then she started in with the COVID stuff that it, um, they're open and they were like ahead of us in the opening, which I don't think they're ahead of us. I think they were really the same as us right now. Hmm. I feel like we're sitting close and you can like smell my breath or something. Um, so she's, shut up. Dude, can you smell me? No. So she said, um, like, let's just go and we don't have to do anything crazy. We're not even staying right at the boardwalk. We'll stay further down. And Did you rent a house? No, we stayed in a hotel. Do you? Because you know that at 11 o'clock in Ocean City at the Holiday Inn, everybody goes out on the balcony and just starts screaming. And I don't mean like the happy, let's applaud for the COVID frontline workers, happy clapping and screaming. No, people Did just scream. Did that happen too? No. Oh. The, like, like, it must be that people in different families are staying in different areas of the hotel, oh. but everybody has a balcony. So they're all just screaming. Yeah. But we like to sleep with the door open because it's really nice to have the breeze at night. Oh, wow. and it's, it's a, Was it right on the shore? Yeah, we were right on the beach. I can't, I can't. And here's Did the other thing. Did you get to thing. sleep at all? Nope, I didn't sleep. And I couldn't figure out, I kept saying to her, I'm exhausted. I can't figure out why I'm exhausted. And she's like, well, you haven't been sleeping. Oh, yeah. Good point. That you never sense. really sleep, I feel, fully when you're out of town. I only do when we you go like to the... sleep with wow. one ear open. When we go to the Cape, I'm pretty good. The only difference is I sleep with our son. And he's a pretty good sleeper, but he sits up and he has to look around when he's sleeping and he doesn't know he's doing it. And I'll be hmm. like... Go, hmm. I have to put him down. Yeah. And sometimes he'll fight me. The other thing is, is pot legal? Pot? Yeah, like is marijuana. I can't figure this out. Is it legal now? I think it's legal, isn't it? I don't think so. Don't tell me you smoked pot. No. <laughs> Where's this going? So. Please, no, just say no. No, I don't smoke pot. Thank the you. balcony is where you're allowed to smoke. Oh. Well, oh. apparently our neighbors were big pot smokers oh. so we would go to the beach and come back and our whole room would stink because we would leave the door this open this is why i don't travel and you'd get on the elevator and it was oh. like oh. my kids and my kids Did are very it? oh they know exactly what it is because we smell it everywhere it now like, like do you even yeah. notice when you pull up next to another car now you smell it and they have caught on and they get it because i'll be like oh it stinks like pot and they get it and get it. whatever it's fine with me if they know because then i now i now tell them you avoid people that smell like, like that. that, like that's drugs, and we avoid that. And 
I know the hippies out there don't like that I'm saying that, but it's, tough. it's fine. I yeah. don't want my kids to do drugs as yeah. nobody wants their kids to do drugs. They'll figure that out later. But so between the pot and the screaming, but I don't want you to get a bad idea. We had a wonderful time. Wonderful the time. beach there is beautiful. And it, it was just really nice. It was very low key. We didn't, um, like we didn't, it wasn't a regular Jenna. Oh, my name is Jenna. Sorry. It wasn't a regular Jenna makes everybody run around with like an the itinerary schedule, of yeah. the 57 things we have to do. It, the only thing I wanted to do was go to Assateague Island, which I FaceTimed you when we were there. If Tell you, them! If you've never heard of it or never been there or seen it, they have wild horses. I knew nothing about yeah. this, but when I, I found either. out we were going, I was, it was right before I went to work um, to do like laptop handing because you know we haven't been working. And... Like three people said, you have to go to Assateague, Teague, Assateague Island. It has wild horses. So we did, and we got there before 9 o'clock, and it was free to get in. I don't know if you pay at 9 o'clock, but there were no people at the gates at that point. And as we were walking, another guy was coming off the beach, and he said, the horses go that way. So we did, and they're just laying there, and there Beautiful. were ponies, and it was so cute. And they're on the beach, and of course my kids are like, do they swim? We do they? I don't know. They were standing. It's salt water, where the right? water Yes, yeah, so it? they can't drink it, but they were they were standing where the waves come up. Do you know where they live? Like, do they have an actual spot where they come from and go to? I read that there were 82 horses on the island, but then I read that Virginia has part of this. It's a state park that Virginia has part of it, too, and then it said there were over 300. So I'm not really sure. And then I read I that the way every they... single day to just watch them run past. I know. And there are people it's sitting there beautiful. doing yoga on the beach, which I don't do yoga, but that's great. Yeah. And I'm watching them like, this is the most relaxing thing I've ever encountered ever. Mm -hmm. So they, they, um, what am I trying to say to you? I don't oh, know. But I, we were wondering how they got there while they were running. Because and my I felt pictures like I wouldn't like go through. Just as excited. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I was there. So cool. My pictures weren't going through to her, but for pretty much everybody else. And then all of a sudden, just they were like walking in a trail. And I'm like, I'm going to FaceTime her right now and she can see it. Do they ever come up to the people? I know you can't touch them, but do they ever come up to you? People say that they come up to you, but you're supposed to stay within 40 feet of them because yeah. they can bite and they can charge. And they, they did have babies, so I sort of just felt like, yeah. let's yeah, stay right. away. Let them do their thing. So that was really pretty. I'm really, really happy we did that. Um, and the, the beaches there are beautiful. And that beach is really beautiful. Yeah. And when you get there early enough, there really weren't any people on the beach. There were a few, but nothing. So, so you're glad was, you went? I'm super glad I went. We had a really good time and it was very relaxing, except that I couldn't sleep. My kids pretty much never leave the pool. They love the ocean. They love the waves hitting them. And yeah. that's hilarious to them that it like knocks them over. But that's why that. you're five shades darker. Yes, I was mm -hmm. burned. Put it what? away. You, that is crazy. were it's you that not, white before you went well you know what it is no. i go outside like in a tank top oh, dress oh, oh. okay so that's why i burned because mm -hmm. the tank top dress is wider than that spot yeah. but my bathing suit I is nothing that to wide. Show but a chicken scratch <laughs> <laughs> sometimes when you hug a chicken they go <laughs> what was the other thing i was going to say oh so Rhonda has a very very hard time with people going on vacation and leaving and it makes her very nervous. Yeah. So I texted her and said, I, I need to talk to you and tell you something. Because I know you're I not going like to take this notice. well. I'm like, wait, so I'm not going to see you for a week? Or like, fine, then I just won't talk to you ever again. You were good at first. You're like, was I? when are you leaving? And when are you oh, coming back? Oh, that sounds back? nice. Then, yep, that'll be. And I'm like, oh, that's fun. I know that this is hard for you. Yes, it's very hard for me. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Yeah. You did well. You're planning on leaving the country next year. Yeah. And I'm thinking about starting another COVID idea, like just to keep you here. <laughs> too extreme? No? Yeah, maybe just a little, a little extreme. Just a little bit. Start COVID and affect the whole world just so I don't go to Italy for a year. I just like a my year. people close. Like, I like my family close. Dad went to Lake Placid this week, didn't like that. Yeah, you were really panicking because you said both of us were going to I be gone. I don't like it. I don't like it. You did fine. I'm you did here. Fine. I'm home. It's fine. It's an eight hour drive. So mother-in-law really got me there. When she first told me, she goes, it's about six and a half. And I'm like, uh -huh. all right, six and a half isn't so bad. We go to Cape Cod every year and that's eight hours. So she took into account you driving fast. I don't know what we, I don't know. She just didn't, it's a better sell at six and a half hours than at eight. Once you say eight, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. eight. Mm -hmm. And I know this is such a first world problem, but there was no internet that worked in the car and my boys in the car for eight hours with iPads and no internet. It's like, oh. yeah. and they're like, turn on your hotspot. No, I'm not doing that. Does it make your phone heat up? It makes the my phone burn. I don't know. I never use it. 
because I don't want to drain whatever. I don't have unlimited because I mm. need to get a new phone and I haven't done it yet. So not that anybody knows this, but it's it's a knitting podcast. Oh, right. This is we a talk about podcast. Knitting. That's right. So let me think. School is over and we have a finished object. <sighs> it's it beautiful. Oh. And of course they can't see. That's All right. Okay. We'll sew the hole okay. in the armpit. That, yeah. I'm not going to make excuses for it. I finished the Felix pullover. Um, I found off. Was it yesterday? I texted you a picture of it. Mm -hmm. I think so. You had 15 stitches to go. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. I like it. I made oh, it longer. Man. It was supposed to come to, I'm not kidding here. Um, but I made it longer and I made it short sleeved, which was not the pattern. It is savory knits. Um, I enjoyed it. It was the petite wool from We Are Knitters. It's fuchsia. Again, it doesn't look anything like the picture, that picture. Mm -mm. It's really, really bright. And I love that. Um, the wool, we talked about this. It's mm -hmm. a little bit like roving um, and it, it is very... Um, furry ended up in my eyes and my nose and I, I worry about its durability that's my only concern you're but worried it's gonna pill right I'm worried it's gonna pill and just fuzz up but maybe I just don't wash it very often I haven't blocked it yet so we'll see I would say we're pretty new to knitting in terms of trying all the yarns and yes. all that so I think we're just trying to figure different yarns out and find compare, our way a little bit I compare it to drinking coffee which I know you're not a huge coffee drinker but or like at all Really? At no. all? I had iced coffee this past week because exactly. I was tired, so this is where I, I get it from. I don't ever, ever drink it. coffee. Like, my husband will not drink coffee. Neither will I. It mine. could be sweet. It could be caramely. It could be anything. No. But you will. I'll drink it cold, and I don't mind it. I like it as ice cream. Okay. Yeah. Oh, like a coffee ice yeah, cream? Yeah, coffee ice cream. cream. Ever have an affogato? No. It sounds like a swear word, though, in Italian. <laughs> <laughs> it is gelato, and then they pour espresso over the top, and it's real good. Yeah, maybe it's that I like it cold, mm -hmm. but my not cold it like cold. it just sits out cold. No, no, I mean, no. as an iced coffee or ice cream. Back to my analogy. Mm -hmm. So when I first started drinking coffee, it was just because I wanted to stay awake after I had my second child, and I would just go to a, a 7-Eleven or a gas station and get one of the things, put in a ton of creamer, and people were like, ew, that's disgusting. And now, like, as you drink more of it you're like actually that's pretty gross and I'll brew my own and I'll grind my own beans and I feel like that's kind of my journey with yarn you know at first I'm just like my first project I ever started was a skein I found at Aldi nothing wrong with that it taught me all the stitches mm -hmm. but now looking you're back mess at that, it up anyway I thought it was a really pretty color I didn't know there were different fibers and different you know qualities to look for in a yarn and as I feel we move on we are finding exactly what works best for the projects that we're looking for well and that's the other thing I find that it doesn't have to always be expensive yarn. No. it's just sometimes the, the more expensive ones suit certain pro sure. projects and then other ones don't I felt that this pattern needed to be a little more sheepy yeah and we found the we are knitters and we felt like it was really reasonable it really was you we could needed... spend over two hundred dollars on yarn for a sweater and this was super reasonable it was ten dollars a skein after the coupon code and shipping and, and everything. we bought ours together so we yeah. kind of got it a little and I involved. had one full extra skein plus a half mm-hmm yeah yeah I feel like you have to try a bunch of different things out I don't like when people and it's nothing against whoever created yarn snob but I don't like it because I feel like every single yarn I have to use doesn't have to be an expensive yarn I've told you guys before I'll use acrylic right it's not something I use all the time but if it's a pattern that I've no when I was making that big shawl with the pockets thing crocheted for my right. mother which I haven't finished the pockets or it's okay but it's gonna take five seconds I don't know why I haven't done it mm -hmm. I <clears throat> I didn't want to use an expensive yarn because I was kind of writing my own pattern and I didn't know what I want to do. So it doesn't make sense to spend all that money on right. something and you don't know what it's going to be. Also, I like acrylic for hats. And I don't why? know why. I don't know. I just like the way it looks on a hat. Anything that's touching my actual skin, I want it to be wool. Um, and nice and soft. And I know wool doesn't always have to be soft. But acrylic, go ahead. Go on my hair. Yeah. I think it's just a preference thing. I'm, I don't, I'm not a yarn snob. Yeah. It's fine. I'll use different yarn. I'm starting those little My Knitted Dolls, My Knitting Dolls. We put the picture the last time, and I haven't yet, like, dove into it, but they call for um, cotton fingering yarn. Oh. Right. And I was like, oh, I don't have any cotton anything, but I can see where cotton is going to come into hand, come in handy because you don't want any fibers hanging off and you things like that. It. It'll be, yes, it'll be really smooth. 
So I might have to buy some cotton fingering just to see if this is going to work out. So we'll see. I feel like I've used a cotton back in the day that was Spud and Chloe. Okay. Cotton. I think so. It doesn't matter. It seems really tough. But I guess for Hard a on your hands, hands, you mean? No, like, rough, like uh, uh, what's that word? I think it's tough. Okay. Thick, You'll have to let me know. Thick in, um, there's a word I'm thinking of. I could say in Ocean City. I don't think I'd be doing a whole lot of knitting if I lived there because it was hot and sticky. I did almost no knitting last week. It was so depressing. And then I was thinking, I, the boys kept saying to me and my mother-in-law, would, would you want to live here? Do you like it where we live better? They always ask questions like this. And I said, I do like where we live better. Mm -hmm. Not because Ocean City isn't beautiful. And my mother-in-law agreed. We agreed. We like the four seasons. I need, yeah. And I don't mind that winter is long. I used to, but now that I'm super into knitting, I don't mind yeah. it because I want to wear the things that I knit and I like to wear five of them at a time and bundle up. I can say it was 90 degrees last week and I was sitting in my yard with this wool project on my lap knitting and it doesn't bother me yeah it really doesn't and everyone my siblings were like oh great you made a sweater just in time for summer it doesn't matter it's a hobby you know what I mean it doesn't matter yeah what I don't care about that and I I told them before but I do a lot of my bigger projects in the summer that right. I want I because in the winter I want to go through it quickly so I can wear yep. the more things you know more things quickly I'm finding I don't really shop for clothes very much anymore hmm. I just want to make I'm everything finding that well, a cotton shirt or something, a t-shirt, but sweaters. I haven't bought a sweater. Oh, I don't right. know how long. Yeah. I won't do that now. No. And it's like, oh, I'll just make it. Oh, see, that's not my reasoning, but. I don't know. I'm weird. Okay. Oh, oh okay. okay. So, yeah. you. So Onto you, what I'm making next? Sure. But I was going to say, you saw on a, on a, a post that people didn't love this yarn. You're right. So somebody asked on one of the knitting Facebook pages I follow has anyone ever ordered from we are knitters what are your feelings about the wool and I wasn't gonna say anything and then a couple people were like oh it's kind of it roving and it's really rough do you feel this is rough no everybody said it was really rough I don't feel it's rough I just feel it's splitty I split it a lot when people say rough though does that mean they don't like something like Harrisville or Brooklyn Tweed things like you see a, that a fuzz farmy? coming off of it that's my issue which is hilarious since you have three dogs. But this is not dog fur. But I mean, you're used to fuzz, aren't you? Do yeah. Like hair and stuff? Yeah. When they say rough, I feel like like Brooklyn Tweed would, would be rough like and a Harrisville would be fibers rough. In it. Yeah. See, I don't mind that. I like that. For mm -hmm. certain projects, I think that's perfect. And it's very lightweight, but very warm. Right. And this, remember when you said I'm going to make it short sleeve I'm and I said I to you, it's going to be hot, just so you know. This is a hot sweater. It is very warm, but I like it. I love it. I have it no regrets. No, no regrets. Regret. One little regret about this hole, but I'm going to, we're going to fix that. Just sew it. We're just going to sew it. I got that on my swan show. Who cares? <laughs> just sew it. Every project, not to sound sappy, is a learning experience for mm -hmm. me, especially for in these anything. beginning stages. This time, um, yeah, I, I went down. A pretty big gauge here. <laughs> but and you it said it's kind said of funny. To do it. it did say to do it, but you yours sure? didn't. I don't know. I've read it four times, but you know what? I'm not going to point this out to everybody. That Nobody's going to notice it. Eh, it's fine. I've learned something. You know? Nobody notices I'm okay that. With it. I'm okay All right. With that. Go ahead. Next. Next project up. So I'm really funny about when I make something. Like, I've looked at this fluorescent color for so long. Now I need to, like, switch gears. Mm -hmm. I can never make, and I, I love that you know what you like and you you make something uh, similar each time i have to Do completely I? 180 switch gears um so this time it's I'm, very harry potter for me see you don't get what that, does that mean? the wand chooses the wizard like all of a sudden i'll see something and then it's like i have to make that and then i have to that i figure out the yarn and it's it's very mood oriented mm -hmm. for me. I have to be in that mood. So if it's pink and pink and pink in a row and on three different things, then it I is. And sometimes would, it's just not. I think it also goes into play that you finish pretty quickly and I have to be prepared to look at something for months. I get that. But you yeah. get this pretty quick. How I long did. did this take you? A month. That's not bad. Somebody said this week, such sweet people, you should open an Etsy shop and I sell saw. your things. I would sell two things a year. <laughs> is that Wilson? No. It's oh. somebody else you don't know. But it was so sweet, and I appreciate the compliment, but no. no. Mm -mm. They said, or pictures of your birds. That I could do all day, every day. 
Let's embed a picture of a bird. Here. Okay. Um, I'm going to make next Floor from Espas Trico. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Did you pay for this pattern? Yes, I did. Okay, because I was going to say if you did, you could just, if you didn't, you could hold it up because it's a free pattern. But. Nope. I paid for it. Okay. I really, really like the bobbles. I can show the whole pa pattern, right? I really love the bobbles. Um, this here is like a coral with a, I want to say peachy contrast. And I chose to make it in Spun Right Round. Mm -hmm. This is called Sprout. Um, it's a really, mm, doesn't look the same there. Really green. springy, grassy green. And it's real pretty and stretchy. This is uh, DK. And then I'm just going to contrast it with a, uh, I'm hoping white, but this is cream. I might replace it. Actually, this is it. Do you like how she holds her? I like to keep it in a bag so that it doesn't get dog hair. Get dog hair. Yep. You learn. When you have three dogs, you learn how to protect yourself. So my cousins came while you're getting that mm. situated, and they brought their two bulldogs, and they stayed with us. And we are so allergic, and it's fine. But we, oh, spun right around the spark. There is dog hair everywhere. So the dogs would be walking, and then they do that thing where they shake, and I'm just watching the hair fly everywhere. Yep. And I love them. They're huge, gigantic, fat bulldogs. They were so cute. But I'm walking behind them with the vacuum. It's a labor of love. I go through yeah. a vacuum a year, especially a stick vacuum, and now with the bird his seeds and feathers but it does not bother me one bit but when people come over I feel like I have to explain like I chose this you didn't so whatever okay finish so yeah well that's what I'm making espastrico it's fingering weight it's going to take a long time and it's my new technique here I look like to pick one new technique each pattern that's something that I have to it'll challenge me um that's going to be the bobble and I read over um, that I call the nipple because they just look like nipples yeah I had to say it they do. Hug. Although hers. <laughs> I can't. I know. The bobbles on this are bigger than the bobbles on whatever Andrew Mowry thing I just made. The golden hour. And those on the golden hour really look like nipples. Is that another word that bothers you? A little bit. Oh, not going to lie. But I'm going to learn how to make a bobble. And I'm looking forward to that. Okay, good. Speaking of learning new techniques. Am I learning a new technique? No. Oh. Well, I did start the what the fade. I showed you the yarn last time. I guess I can hold it up again. This is really pretty. I'm actually a little surprised that, that you like it. No, <laughs> we finish each other's sandwiches. That's what it reminds me of when you finish my sentence. I'm surprised it's not finished. Is what I was gonna say. Okay, but it's not finished. Did Are you, you drive on the way to vacation? I drove. If I had if not driven, it would have made a difference, but it wouldn't be done. Remember, I chose this because it's going to be lengthy. Okay, so I showed these to you guys last time, but I might as well again. So this is my fade. It is a combination of spun right round and hedgehog. Mm -hmm. and that's it. So I'll show you what that looks like now because I started it. I'm not going to give them 5,000 colors. The colors are in the last podcast. So here it is so yeah. far, Isn't which of course neat? they can't see the colors that I well. wish they could squish it. Like this is it's very so squishy. squishy. It is fingering weight. It goes from the dark to light. And then what I noticed is on the back, which I didn't love as much, is like the other part of the fade. This is the yellow to the white now. Oh, my goodness. I know. I didn't realize it till I was doing it. And I was like, oh, she made this fade so that it's like that. That's really neat. Yeah. I better move this. Because I if I drop something, I, I'm not good at fixing brioche. I'm not going to lie. So here it is so far. And I really, really love really, it. The brioche really section is maybe the first half. And then as it grows stretchy. and gets gigantic, it's all, excuse me, garter. So I'm almost to the garter section. I have maybe, maybe six rows left till Ooh. it's just straight garter. Oh, really? Won't there be more brioche at the other end? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think so, though. Mm. Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. I just love the smell. So I tried to take it to the beach a little. I did bring it one night when we went to watch the sunset, but it's so, um, it's just too... What's the word? Sandy? Too damp in the sand. And I didn't have a chair that night, so I was just sitting on a little blanket. And, and you know what? I'm glad you were in the moment. I think your boys probably appreciated that you were watching everything. Oh, and it's nice that you think that. They weren't paying one ounce of attention to they me. Were. They were in the water playing and beating each other up. So How many they didn't times even did they know say, I was Mom, watch there. this? No, not that night. But normally they do. They do want me to see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Usually. You're doing a really good job. Thank you. And I like the way it's fading. 
I really wish we could show them colors better than we do here. <laughs> We're going to find out a way to like take a picture and embed it so that they can see the real colors. Yeah, we just have to get the colors true. So this would have been had a lot more done, but it's, it's okay. okay. Like, it's okay. I've had vacation. I'm taking a little trip, uh, not until the middle of July, but I'm hoping to get some knitting done on the five-hour drive there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. When we go to the Cape, I stay up. We drive overnight, and I will stay up with my husband who is driving, and I will knit all night long. So that's why I bought this from Amazon, because last year I was making the Weekender, which is just straight garter year, until yeah. you hit those two rows, the front seam and the back. So I would have to turn the car light on to see if I was on a slip or a knit yes. and then look at it and then turn the light off. So for eight hours, I just kept doing this. Oh, is this our kids trying to open the door? Oh, no, it's our husbands. Hi, Hi husbands. Dinner. I, Din they're yelling dinner. Figure it out. So every however many minutes, I would click the light on, look at the thing, click the light off for eight hours. So this year I was like, somebody had this somewhere. I saw it and I said I had to have one. This is why Rhonda was laughing because we don't know why, but it's called the Sing Hong. We just, it just doesn't make sense. It's not like the light thing that goes around your neck. You'd think it would have a, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Sing Hong. So you put it around your neck, it's on Amazon. I think it's really cute. It is cute. Last year at the 4th of July, we go to a 4th of July festival. Wow. Three settings. Wow. This thing is awesome and it's bendy. Like you can make it go however you want. So now when I knit in our living room in the dark, I turn this on so I can see where I'm at with brioche. Sure. Okay, what were you saying? Um, last year. Oh, our movie. It wasn't 4th of July. It was the movie, the night movie. It's 4th of July. It's the week of 4th of July. We go every year. No? No. It's at the end of the summer. It was Good Neighbor Days. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter. They have fireworks. They, have an outdoor, they, they have do fireworks. fireworks. They have an outdoor movie, and we go and sit. And so they have the blow-up things, and they have food, and they have all that. So we hang out for a few hours. All that to say, during the movie, neither of us really watch the movie. It's going to be a cartoon that we've seen a hundred times. It's like times. the Lego movie, and you can't even hear it because we sit so far back. So we bring headlamps. and <laughs> We looked like we were um, miners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were mining. And my husband, he kind of hates when I'm knitting when we should be doing something else. Like, he wants me to pay attention to the movie. I love you. I'm sorry. I can't pay attention. If I'm sitting, I have to be doing something. So it's pitch black because you're watching a movie outside. So, yeah. We, so now when we watch, because he doesn't like to turn um, lights on in the living room at night when we're watching TV. So mm -hmm. now I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just do one usually because that's enough. Mm -hmm. These are going to the cape. Mm -hmm. Nice. Love it. Love it. I could put this in your, um... No, because I know about it. Has anyone given any more? No! We didn't get anybody saying this Whatever. is what you should put in yours. <laughs> it's okay. We have like a thousand ideas. So we ordered from Blueprint before it closed. Ugh! I don't know why I'm still so frustrated after I got my order. I just don't like the way it was handled. Because it took like eight weeks to get it, you mean? It No, because after I ordered it, it just kept saying processing. It never said shipped. It never said received. It never said anything. And then I started complaining. I sent an email a day like, can you just tell me if it's... I thought they were going to say we ran out of yarn. You kept saying that. And I wasn't getting mine either, but I wasn't as nervous about it as you were. And nobody answered me, and it just arrived at my door the next day. But whatever. But everything we got... I mean, I really liked what I got, mm -hmm. and then I got some things and for you like that I liked. it was super cheap. It was. So here's what happened. I wasn't paying attention because I was really going to get this color in worsted. Whiny. I know. So unlike me. What's the name of it? Fuchsia. Oh, 12015. But I think it's Fuchsia. Oh, Magenta. Magenta is what I meant to say. It yeah. does not look Magenta. And it didn't look like this in the picture. I love the color. It is like a wine color, but it did not look like this in the picture. It was much um, brighter and pinker. Hmm. But anyway, I was going to get worsted, and at the last minute I said, oh, I'll use this yarn for the goldfinch. So I switched it over and didn't pay attention. Usually a sport weight is 300 yards, so I wasn't really paying attention it's 137 yards and I have two and I really needed about 300 for the goldfinch so the goldfinch has by Andrew Mowry has different color blocks so I was thinking I'll just find a another bunch sport. of short rows is it I was how you get that like I'll just get a different magenta and put it in a block that'll be in the back so you'll yeah. you'll live that with me so I got this mm -hmm. color with like a this let me see what it's called 
Petal. That's a good color. Petal. Maybe I mean, you color. can't go buy it now. And then I was thinking, oh, I'll just go online. And then I even went on Ravelry to see if anybody was selling it. No. And this one is, where did you see the little name? Fern Heather. Fern Heather. I really like those together. That reminds me of my childhood. There's really? something about that, like a doll or a something. It Look. reminds me of spring, like a plant or something. Maybe they can see it better because you're Ooh. more pink. It just... Uh, it was sort of springy out, so it reminded me of a plant. So this will be I my like goldfinch. That. I'm just going to have a different color magenta somewhere in the middle, and it's fine. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to cry about it. Nope. I also got an order. I did not bring it. Didn't know we were showing those. And also, a lot of it, some of it, is for her. Um, I wasn't... Our advent <laughs> Fine without Ryan. No, we are fine without Ryan. We're fine. So when we were in Ocean City, I wanted to go to Fiber Space. It was like three hours away. Yeah. So we didn't go. Um, I want to go to Burlington, Vermont when we're in Lake Placid because they have like several. Have you ever been to Burlington? Apparently there's this like really cute area, Church Street, and it's just like a lot of cute little shops, which I love. Is it all yarn? There are a lot of yarn stores, like three within a really close vicinity. How many hours away is that? Two from Lake Placid. How many hours from here? I'm guessing seven. <laughs> oh, stop. That's far. But maybe we can like look at the websites, and if you see anything you like, I can grab it. That would be wonderful. I was a little nervous that we wouldn't be able to get back into New York if we go there, but it's not one of the naughty states right now. That's what happened. When we were gone, it was saying you have to quarantine, and then we had to read and make sure we were okay yeah. because Maryland wasn't a high risk risk state. So we were fine. If you're in one of the high-risk states, my heart goes out to you. Like, I feel sorry for people who are in our April. Where we, I was just going to say, know. where we were before. That was it was a scary time. And it was, it was like, there was like anxiety. It was just a lot. I'm really happy it happened in the winter for us. Just because if it was right now. Oh. Uh, it would be it okay. The kids would be, the time. The kids would be outside and all that. But it was so gloomy and gross out. You just felt like you didn't want to leave the house anyway. So then it just gave I you the reason that, that you weren't leaving the house. I know. I, it's terrible. I like quarantine. I think I told you guys that before. I love it. I liked not I'm already leaving. starting to miss it, and I know that sounds completely selfish because... It's not... You don't miss the world being chaotic. No. You miss, like, the world telling you you have to stay home. Yes. But go ahead and say why. That was it. Well. I loved being with my family and, like, looking for things to do inside. We played mm -hmm. every board game we've ever had. We did puzzles. We made stuff. We did so many puzzles. I got a new puzzle this week. It's Rosie the Riveter. Mm -hmm. I love Rosie the Riveter. And actually, my great aunt was a Rosie the Riveter. So, oh. like, one of the factory workers. Love that. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing that. That huh. puzzle right now. I do. I do miss quarantine a little. I do. Cape Cod hasn't opened up its pool yet at our place. Hmm. Better open it because it's all my kids want to do. Yeah. It's okay. We're going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Next time, we should have some more progress on that. Mm -hmm. Some more progress on, on floor, the floor. And we'll talk about maybe some new little um, knit shops we found. I've been ordering from like a lot of little interesting places. How are you finding them? She does stalk my Instagram, and that's how she figures out what to buy me, which I didn't oh do you at all. Savory Knit said, yay, and clapped her hands when I posted this. I tagged, is it a she? I don't savory know. Savory Knitting, Savory something. But how good does that make you feel when the designer of something that you copied, they made it, it was their idea, I just made it, but they told you that you did a good job? Like oh. It's seriously <laughs> like a complete celebrity to me. It's like Julia Roberts just said that she liked, do you know Julia Roberts is a knitter? Get out. She totally is a knitter. Get out. Why can she not post Instagram? I went to look for her on Instagram, which she just got one, I think, recently. Mm -hmm. And why is she not knitting? Hmm. She, your people want to see you knitting, Julia. I know Come you're on, watching. Jules. No, you're not. But I would love if you were and you could say a yay and then post a little picture of what you're knitting. We want to know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye, Thank friends. you for coming. Bye. Bye. We'll see you next time.